Hello, I'm IBX Toycan. Earlier today on Twitter, I predicted there would be a new screenshot out today, and as of half an hour ago, I am correct because 4J Studios just tweeted out their biggest screenshot ever because it's five separate uh, Minecraft console screenshots of the next update, and it's really big news. I'm going to break it down for you guys and let you know what's coming. So, like the video if you like this sort of thing, and let's get straight into it. So, as you can see here, five separate Minecraft console title update 19 stuff. So, the biggest one is actually the top left, so we'll start there, then move to the right, and then go to the bomb couple, and finally finish. On that PS Vita screenshot. So, uh, starting with the top left, as you can see, this is one of the biggest features confirmed because I was always questioning how are fireworks exactly going to work in the console version. There's so many combinations. There's like undecillion combinations, and basically, uh, they've confirmed that now it's going to have a manual crafting grid. So, as you can see here on the PS3 or PS4 version of the game, uh, he's actually manually crafting a firework here, and it's got a lot of effects on it. So, if you want to make fireworks, it looks like there's going to be a separate crafting menu for you, which is cool enough by itself. Like our first taste of manual crafting. The console, but it looks like potentially, it's hard to say right now, the manual crafting could carry over to other things. Because what happens if, for instance, you put two sticks and three diamonds in there? Is it just going to not give you a pickaxe, or will it let you do that? It's entirely, you know, difficult to say right now, but it is really exciting because it could allow us to do so much more for people who just want to craft manually. You could do that. If you want to have a very specific color of armor, right now you can only kind of get to certain colors. Uh, you could get more specific armor colors, and there's so many possibilities that I'm just excited about. So, manual crafting on consoles looks like it's possible. If not, then at least for fireworks, we're going to get our first taste, and that's really cool. So, that's kind of all that's going on this top left screenshot. Of course, there's a wither skeleton, which we already knew was confirmed, but the wither skeleton, uh, you know, it is definitely coming. Here's our first real screenshot, so that's always cool. Uh, yeah, besides that, it's the never, which is fairly interesting. So, moving on to the right image here, you can see this is actually the beacon menu. So, the beacon is an end game block. You have to kill the wither to actually create them. And uh, once you actually create it, it's uh, you know it gives you this set of menus. And the menu give you a whole bunch of options. So there's speed, there's haste, there's defense, and these all give you benefits for being nearby. And it's exactly the same as the PC. None of them are missing, which is a very good thing. Uh, and they are exactly the same. So there's no exclusive for the console, which to be fair, we shouldn't really expect anyway. But it is nice to know all of the PC ones can be there if you want haste, if you want faster killing speeds, etc. It's all going to work just the same as it does on PC. So yeah, the beacon's a really cool end game block. I definitely recommend you check out my feature preview if you want to learn more. But for now, let's move on to the bottom left screenshot, which is the Xbox 360. So, uh, with the Xbox 60, it's actually a hopper interface. So, um, the hopper interface is just showing you how it looks on the console. Again, exactly the same as the PC, just it's kind of built into the inventory, which is kind of nice. And uh, an another nice thing here, as you can see, the Minecraft hopper is properly confirmed here. In the last screenshot, it wasn't 100% you know, shown properly, but here you can see Minecraft hopper is just there. Uh, to the left of it, it's the Minecraft TNT, as well as some other stuff, but it it's all stuff we've seen before. So moving on to more new and exciting stuff that isn't just the inventory. Uh, finally, we have this fourth screenshot, which is the Xbox One. And as you can see, this is someone riding a horse in the Never, which is quite cool in my opinion. So they've got the saddle on the horse, and it's just kind of showing us the horse does work in the Never, and it's a really cool possibility for the horse if you want to do that. So uh, besides that, the items, again, all stuff we've seen before. There's the daylight sensor, there's the minecart for hopper, there's the minecart with, uh, you know, the furnace. It looks like the furnace or the hopper. And in general, this screenshot is quite cool, just showing us horses in the nether. Also, wither skeletons once again, of course. Um, and uh, finally, moving on to the last screenshot, we have the PS Vita version, where we have uh, just a wither skeleton. Uh, it looks like a couple of them. It's really, really low res and difficult to tell, but that is what's going on with the PS Vita right there. So, uh, yeah, another really cool image from 4J. It confirms a lot of cool stuff for us. The biggest one for me is manual crafting for the fireworks, because I think it could expand beyond the fireworks. Like, why would they have a crafting grid that you couldn't put other stuff in? And if that's just an option that you can now have, let's say you press Y and then you press, I don't know, X or something like that, or Y and then back, and then that's how you get to manual crafting, or something like that. It'd be really exciting to see. I really want to see it, and that's quite cool there. So that's uh, what we see there. The beacons are in there just fine. Uh, the hoppers, they look exactly the same as the PC, and it's really nice to see all of this just kind of functioning. So one thing that I do have to say before I end the video is if you look in the bottom left screenshot, the 361, uh, one thing that's really confused me is if you look at those blazes there, they actually have skulls coming out of them. I couldn't work out what that is. Maybe it's the withering effect, but I I still don't know how it'd get on those blazes. Let me know if you have any idea what you think that is. Maybe it's something for the consoles. Maybe it's something on the PC that I just don't understand. But I don't think it is that one. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think is going on in that bottom left screenshot. Other than that, like the video if you liked it. Uh, share it if you really liked it. I'm going to be doing some feature previews and all of this stuff. So check the description to see feature previews on the stuff that I have done. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not already to see all the rest of those. Thank you for watching the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.